Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. This is a little different attire for me today, but today we are going to video, we're going to do a couple part video of this. This is a 2012 Skyjack SJ61T. It's a 61 foot boom lift, band lift. This unit is four wheel drive. It has oscillating front axle. There's 1734 original hours on this machine. Um, again, very nice clean machine. Nothing has been painted. It is all original. That is the original shine of that machine. Uh, this is a diesel uh, machine, diesel engine, uh, Dutes, uh, full cooled motor. Uh, this unit does have an optional 3.5 kW uh, kilowatt uh, hydraulically driven generator on it. So it has an onboard generator system, which we will show you works. Um, very nice machine, has just had an annual inspection done, so it's good for one year. Uh, this machine, anytime dealing with any type of aerial equipment, they're 120 bucks, uh, you better get yourself a harness and wear it. Uh, just as a good safety precaution, that's why I have it on here. But let's go ahead, we're going to take you underneath the covers and panels of this machine, show you all around it. So again, it's the Skyjack SJ 61T Boom. This machine we just serviced, we did all new filters and oils. Uh, the only thing we have ordered we have to do yet, and it just come this afternoon, we're going to change that pilot filter. Uh, that way it is done and taken care of. Up here is your onboard generator system. As you can see, it is a hydraulically driven um, generator system. It's a three and a half kW made by Fabco Power. Um, very nice unit. It has the optional hydraulic cooler on it. Uh, very big deal, I, I, in my opinion. Whenever you buy a boom this size, uh, you can see it plugged directly right into its own uh, harness for an extension cord to run to the boom. What I like about Skyjack, not a lot of onboard computer garbage on these machines. It's all simple automotive style relays, um, which impresses me with the Skyjack lineup. I've owned a lot of Skyjack stuff. Uh, you know, JLG is built about 30 miles from us here. But as you can see here on this control box, we'll show you here in one second. Uh, very, very basic wiring, very hey, you can work on it. That's a big thing I look at. Um, one thing I also talked to Skyjack on when I called him about this machine to run it down, what they do on their wiring schematic of a Skyjack, whether you're working on this machine, an 80-footer, a 40-footer, a scissors lift, their wiring color code is all the same throughout their equipment. So if you're looking at a purple, you know that that has to do with swing. Or if you're looking at a blue wire, that has to do with down. So that is very cool on a machine that you're looking at because at that point, you don't have to have different style of training or all kinds of different books. Uh, you know, generally, if you're looking at one piece of equipment, you can uh, basically break it down and work through it all. Uh, this does have, which we're going to show you here in a second, um, auxiliary power. Uh, so if it's up in the air, run out of fuel or some type of mechanical failure, you can get your boom down. Um, let this panel open uh, till we come back around. But you can see all the fiberglass is in excellent condition. Rear counterweight is very nice. A couple little scuffs on the corner. But look how nice and straight it is here. This is a Dutch 2011. Uh, this would be a four cylinder uh, diesel engine. Starts and runs excellent. No abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything like that. Does have a master cutoff. We have done a complete service. We just did it this week. Uh, you can see engine oil is as clean as it should be. Um, we done. So everybody knows. Um, fuel. Uh, inline, spin on, engine oil. Back here's a hydraulic filter also, we changed it. Um, they're using solder Danfoss pumps. Uh, very good setup. Back here is your swing gear, or swing drive I should call it. There's no oil leaks on this machine. It's a very straight machine. And actually, both air filters are also brand new. Batteries right here. Again, all panels are very nice and straight. Uh, my opinion kind of feel uh, good about owning this machine because it's a nice clean original machine it's not something that's been molested or touched up or anything like that all rubber um, all but one uh, are the track chief uh, carlisle tires are foam filled i'd estimate them to be about 60 percent we're going to show you one over here This is an OTR tire. Something must have happened. I do not know. It was replaced. It is the only tire that does not match. 
However, tread depth and whatnot is all but the same, and I'm gonna estimate it to be 65%. Uh, and again, foam fill, okay? We'll pull this cover panel down. And as I said, I'm gonna try to break this up into a couple videos, maybe two. Um, we're gonna go ahead at this time. I'm gonna flip everything over. I'm gonna start this machine from the ground here, okay? Uh, first things first, I will go ahead and I'm gonna show you that the auxiliary power system works, okay? There I've illustrated to you all functions work off of the auxiliary power. Very important. A lot of people won't go into an in-depth video like we do. But we're doing this for you. Let's go ahead and start the machine. <laughs> Emergency stop kills the machine. Restart it. We are going to turn it then over to basket for the next part of this video. But here we might as well walk around again. This does have an oscillating front axle. All axle seals are excellent. There's no oil leaks. Again, boom is very nice and straight. Paint is original. Okay. So, side entry basket. Basket's in nice shape. There is a couple little things in the rail right here. This does have a platform carrier system, I am going to call this. So if you are trying to take up some lumber with you, sheet of plywood or some boards, you can put that material on this ledge right here that is built into the basket, strap it fast, and take it up with you. Uh, that's how it's designed. It does have these little bumpers here uh, to keep yourself from digging in to the basket. Um, basket on it uh, is very nice shape. You can see all of the uh, gridding and everything in is in very nice condition. Uh, it will have uh, two GFCI outlets. We're going to go inside the box real quick. You'll see I have a grinder laying here, which we are going to test uh, so everybody can see. Very simple joystick control, forward, reverse, steer. Uh, this will be your start. And you'll have your function here um, for the emergency lowering valve also. Um, up, down, or I'm sorry, this is um, grade or travel for your four-wheel drive and speed. Uh, high, low on the uh, throttle. You will have a horn. Uh, this will be for the generator to activate it. This will be your speed control. So as you want to speed functions up on the boom, you can go fast or slow and that all works. Rotate for basket, tilt, and then in and out for telescope. This will be your up and down 
and this will also have your left to right function. Owner's manual is in the carrier and I will go ahead, we're going to go ahead and we'll start a second part of this video now. I wanted to give ample time, I didn't want the video to be so long, it got people bored. Um, we might as well, real quick though, we might as well go over here to the other side and see that all the hosing, everything's in the tracking, everything there is the way it is supposed to be. There is nothing wrong, it is straight, boom has not been swung into something. You can see that everything here is nice and straight. So, kind of hard to find in the machine, in my opinion. A lot of stuff out here is all banged up and whatnot. Uh, but this is a very nice, clean machine. So, if you have any questions in the meantime, we can be reached at 814 658 3066 about our 2012 Skyjack SJ61T. Keep in mind, this is a pre admissions machine. There will be no death, there will be no each other. Um, particular filter on this machine um, so you know uh, very simple technology on that engine and very easy to upkeep so uh, any questions in the meantime we'll see you here again in a few minutes of the second video uh, thank you very much checking out mark supply company i'm nick miller 814-658-3066 see you in a few